at very school. It was Zoe's first day at fairy school. She was so excited that she couldn't sit still. How can I straighten your rings if you keep buzzing around, buzzing about? Left her mother. You'll never fly properly if I don't. Zoe's best friend, Pip, was waiting for her at the end of their street. Hurry up, said, called Pip. As Zoe flew into view, we came late for our first day. When Zoe and Pip arrived at fairy school, the elves and fairies were chatting and giggling, curling and trembling all over the place. One naughty elf gave Zoe a pinch. Then suddenly everyone went quiet. As the beautiful fairy queen appeared in a flash of light and sparkles. Welcome everyone, she said. I am your head teacher. This is my assistant, Miss Two Fairy. And this is Miss Mr. Mischief, who will be teaching the elves. Now everyone find a toadstool to sit on. Fairies here and elves over there, said the fairy queen. Everyone watched to the nearest toadstool. The fairy queen turned to the fairies. Our first lesson is how to wave your magic wand. All fairies watched as the fairy queen waved her wand in an elegant swoop. The air was filled with showers of scarlet sparkles. Oh dear! said Zoe as she tried to make her wand move exactly the same way as the fairy queen's. I don't think i would ever be able to do this. Pip could do it after just three goes, but Zoe couldn't get her wand to swish up, down and across. The wand kept pulling her around, up and up, or down and down. Suddenly she gave a jump. A naughty elf had creeped up behind her and was pulling her wing, and he was laughing at her. Zoe felt like crying and closed her eyes to blink the tears away. When she opened them, the prettiest butterfly she had ever seen was fluttering near the end of her wand. She watched the butterfly zip from flower to flower, as a lovely ancient ark. Swoop, cried Zoe, and Flo followed the butterfly's flight with her wand. The air crackled. Swoop, cried Zoe again, starting to enjoy herself. Her arm moved in a graceful wave, and suddenly a bright shower of glittering sparkles burst from her wand. Bravo, Zoe, exclaimed the, the fairy queen. Your wand words in excellent. Look, girls, ha, see how Zoe does it. It is perfect. You must follow her example. Zoe couldn't believe her eyes. The first day at fairy school, uh, she had earned a gold star. Zoe was so enjoying waving her wand that she didn't even care that the naughty elf stick out his tongue at her. She concentrated hard, waved her wand, and turned him to a tall. Zoe and Pip were very tired. Then they flew home that evening, but they both agreed that fairy school was more fun than any, anything they ever done before.